Welcome to the Daily Chew, sponsored by Southeast Steel and Tico People's Gas. Today our guest is Kathleen Blake of one of my favorite restaurants, The Rusty Spoon in downtown Orlando. And Kathleen, what are you going to make for us today? Thank you, Scott. I'm making a red quinoa uh, salad with a little bit of our fall vegetables that we have now, butternut squash, some fall fruits, apples, heirloom apples, and pear, and walnuts, which I consider a fall nut and you see very prevalent this time of year. We made a little walnut tahini to go with it. Okay, let's okay, get to it. Okay, let's get started. All right. So you're going to bring your water up to a boil, add your quinoa in, and then you turn it down to a simmer. And the great thing about gas is you have complete control over what's right, going yeah, on while you're doing exactly other things. Yes. And then I'm going to get my other pan because I want to uh, get my vegetables. I want to color them in the pan. And then we're going to add some of our butternut squash. And then this is some of our heirloom or antique apple. Caraway complements our, our fall flavors. Don't try this at home. Yeah. <laughs> Just a few ingredients. Walnuts, Greek yogurt, pureed with extra virgin olive oil, and a little bit of hot water. A couple dashes of lemon juice. And then we're going to add our quinoa. And you'll know that the quinoa is cooked. You can see this here when the germ has uh, released itself. These are good germs. Yes, okay. the best germs. Good. And then we'll add our fruits and vegetables. And you can add shaved pear to this as well. And we'll put a little bit of our walnut tahini. You can add the toasted walnuts in if you like, the extra appeal of nuts. Mm -hmm. And just Beautiful. a little bit of garnish. And there you go. And that's it? That's it. I like to keep it simple. Good. Well, if you want the recipe for this, it'll be on icyflorida.com. This one's mine. I'm going to eat this now. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you. For The Daily Chew, I'm Scott Joseph.